Hi, it's a wine friend here with your HSP travel vlog. And I'm at Shakespeare and Company. There's a lot of myth and reality about Shakespeare and Co. Um, but part of my story about it is there's this long line to get in, so we won't be going in for a tour. <laughs> Boy, most of these people are not French. But I had to come by here because this is where I came when I was a young woman and I lived here my first week. And the rule apparently is the same still that you could, thank you for standing right in the camera, um, that you could work for four hours and then you could stay here. And I did. And what happened was I only lasted one night because I got the worst bed bugs ever. But it was cool. It was a bunk nestled into the wall, the bookshelves. So I'd love to go in and see if those bunks are still in there. But somehow I doubt they are. So. This is where all the young people from all over the world would gather back in the late 80s. And in the park near here, I would look like one of these young people. Um, in the park near here, my dear friend Shay Youngblood came up to me and said hello and introduced herself to me and saw that I was a kindred spirit and we've been friends ever since. So thank you Shakespeare and Co. And thank you Shay. This is a lean friend. I'll tell you, oh I want to just say a little bit more. I said this in another video but I'm not sure I'll post it. It was particularly poorly <laughs> filmed. Um, but it's really different being here so much later and so much older really feel the difference in my sensitivity and my sensation seeking not to mention my poor aching body so this has been an adventure and I've done most of it on my own and I'm not sure if I would do it again frankly but maybe my family members will be able to travel with me when we get a little further out from COVID. Oh, I did take the 69 bus today and I have this a sweet little garden. Um, and the, it's a bus that traverses a city and supposedly is a pretty good way to see some sights. So I rode it for, I don't know, a quarter of the city. But it was so hot that it really didn't work for me. So now I'm going to walk around this area, the Latin dis Latin Quarter, a little bit because I saw a place with organic grapes. And I thought, hey, now that's speaking my language. So I'm going to go see if I can find it again, get myself a snack, and then head on home and rest up for another day of I don't know what tomorrow. <laughs> so link friend with your HSP travel vlog. Thanks for tuning in and listening and watching and subscribing. More from Paris soon.